Are you dreaming of visiting Switzerland? Planning a trip to Switzerland is very exciting, but it can also be overwhelming. How do you choose which of the many scenic cities, towns and villages to visit? Which mountaintop excursions should you take? And what's the best way to get around Switzerland? And of course, how much of the country can you realistically see within your time frame? If you've asked yourself any of these questions, this is the podcast for you. This is the Holidays to Switzerland travel podcast, and in each episode, your host Carolyn Schonefinger chats with Swiss travel experts to answer your most commonly asked questions, provide practical tips, and take you on a virtual visit to the most popular destinations, and of course some hidden gems, to help you plan your dream trip to Switzerland. And you'll hear plenty of conversations about Swiss cheese and chocolate too. Are you ready to plan your trip to Switzerland? Well, let's get started. Hi there, and welcome to episode 96 of the podcast. If you're currently planning your trip to Switzerland, you've probably got a list as long as your arm of mountain excursions and activities that you'd like to experience. Whilst it can be really difficult to cross some of these from your list, time and cost can ultimately play a big part in deciding which activities end up on your itinerary and which ones you have to skip. So what if you could combine a ride on an historic funicular with a ride on a super modern cable car in one excursion? Well, you can. This mountain excursion is one you may not have heard of, but thanks to its proximity to Lucerne and its laid-back vibe, it's definitely one to consider, including in your itinerary. So let's dive in and discover the many reasons to visit Mount Stanzerhorn with my guest, Lena Harfelfinger. Hello, Lena. Thank you very much for coming on to the podcast. It's lovely to have you here to chat to you today. Thank you very much for inviting me. <laughs> so could you start um, by introducing yourself and, and telling us about your role with Cabrio Stanzerhorn? Yeah, my, my name is Lena and I'm responsible for the marketing and I do enjoy uh, riding the Cabrio cable car since uh, three years. Very good. And have you always lived in, in the region? Uh, I have not lived in the region. I was growing up near Basel and realized that uh, the area of, with the lake and the mountains is just too exciting, too good. So I must live here. <laughs> Well, that, that sounds like a very good reason. So for those listeners who don't um, perhaps know about the Stanza Horn, um, what is it and whereabouts in Switzerland is it? It is, uh, so Stanza Horn is the name of the mountain and it's very near to Lucerne. So only 15 minutes by train or car. So literally right next to Lucerne. And and what, what height is the mountain? The the height is, oh, in meters, it's uh, 1,800 98. <laughs> That's good. It's it's not too high. So when you go up, you're uh, kind of close to the, the other mountains. That's a good uh, point. And when going up the mountain, you ride with a funicular first. And there is a middle station where you change. And then you ride up with a, the Cabrio cable car. And Cabrio is the German word for convertible cable car. So it has a, an open top. Mm, okay, and I think that's kind of a record, isn't it? Was it the world's first double-decker open cable car? It is. It, it was the world's first, and it still is the only in the world. So there, that's an experience you can experience nowhere else than here at Mount Stanzerhorn. Yeah, fantastic. All right, so I'm quite interested in, in the history of, of tourism on the mountain. When did the first sort of tourists um, discover Mount Stanzerhorn? That was uh, back in 1893, 131 years ago. Um, back then, it was the steepest funicular that they built. It was uh, split in three sections. So people had to change uh, two times going up the mountain and it lasted a long time until they, they reached the top. And there was a hotel at the top that was kind of, yeah, classic as back in the in the, these days, mm -hmm. <laughs> unfortunately, there was a fire in 1971. And after the fire, they did decide to keep the restaurant, but not to rebuild the hotel. So nowadays, there is a restaurant and no hotel anymore. And also a few years after the fire, they realized that it's um, better to have a cable car instead of the funicular. So they, they kept the first section of funicular. 
And the two upper sections they did not use anymore and they built a, a cable car. So still now when you go up with a cable car, you can see the tracks of the, the old funicular. Okay. And yeah, there was this cable car and it was all regular. <laughs> and in 12 years ago, they built the, the cabrio. And since then, the, the mountain is, yeah, with this world's unique uh, first and unique cable car, kind of a different experience. Mm, I can imagine. So can you tell me about the cable car? So obviously it's it's double decker, so it's you can you can be in inside the cabin part, but from the photos I've seen, you can also actually then go up onto the upper deck, which is like you're standing out in the open. Is that right? That's right, yes. There's a stair inside, so you can um start inside if you want, or you can start at the top and you can change deck uh, while riding and since the the cables are at the side of the cabin so when you are at the top you have a view and you can take pictures without having the cables uh, on top of you ah fantastic and of course no danger then um, of people touching those cables either if if they're not uh, above where you're standing <laughs> yeah no danger at all it's really uh, it's safe uh, all good and the the view you have is going to the to Lake Lucerne, so you have uh, a fantastic view on the way up already. Mm, okay, so if someone is staying in in Lucerne, um, you mentioned before that they travel by funicular part of the way, and, and then um, the cable car for the from the middle station to get to the summit. How much time do they need um, by public transport if they're coming right from Lucerne? The record is from Lucerne to the top of Mount Stanzerhorn. You can make it in one hour. <laughs> okay. Oh, well, that's that's very convenient. <laughs> it is. Yeah, the train ride is about 15 minutes. And the walk from the train station is uh, very easy, just five minutes. The funicular is 10 minutes. And also the cable car is about 10 minutes. In total, kind of a quick excursion. Mm, yeah, okay, that's great. So how frequent are the funicular and the cable car services? Do they do they run very frequently throughout the day? Yes, totally. We run every 30 minutes, but as soon as uh, we are busy, we run every 10 minutes. Oh, okay. So you've got the option to be able to add on extra services if, it, if there's a, a lot of people there. Absolutely. And there's also an option to book a boarding pass in advance so you have your spot reserved and you don't need to to wait in line okay and do people just do that on the stanza horn website yes and on the website and if you forget to book a boarding pass uh, you can also just take one uh, when you arrive if you have to wait then you don't need to stand in line you can discover the village have a coffee okay and is there an additional cost for the boarding pass if you have a Swiss travel pass, for example, and you don't need a ticket, then the boarding pass uh, is two francs. And if you buy a ticket, then the boarding pass, pass is included. Okay, excellent. So what are some of the things that uh, visitors can do when they when they get to the, the top of Mount Stanzerhorn? First of all, they experience a fantastic view. To, on one side, they see Lake Lucerne, and on the other side, uh, to the snow-capped mountains. And as I said before, since the mountain is not the highest, you're really, really close to the mountains. And that's something people never expect, but uh, really enjoy. There is a circular summit trail that goes about 45 minutes, including taking pictures. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and on the way of this uh, circular summit trail, there is uh, our marmots. Mm -hmm. yeah. I'm not sure if the, the, the word marmot is well known everywhere. <laughs> I know what you mean. They're a small, furry animal that lives that lives on the, the mountainsides. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and then there is um, the Stanzerhorn Rangers. Every day fr from 10 until 4 in the afternoon, there is uh, one ranger at the mountain just answering questions from our guest, showing the, the most beautiful plants or where the eagle flies. Another very exciting thing you can do on the mountain is to do a hang gliding tandem flight. Uh, we have one pilot offering tandem flights, and he's really uh, he won championships uh, earlier in his days, and that's a very exciting thing you can do if you're looking for some uh, adrenaline. 
Mm, okay. So, and um, can people just book that on arrival at the mountain? Uh, they can actually. Uh, they can book in advance. Uh, it's also um, easy to find on our website. Or they can just walk up to the pilot and ask if he's available for a flight. And there is the revolving restaurant. There we serve food with ingredients from Switzerland and the Alps. So really, really local kitchen. Mount mm-hmm. Schanzeron is kind of a laid back, lazy mountain. So there's a lot of benches. Uh, people can really enjoy nature and have a, a kind of a calm experience. Uh, so it's really a place where we can take a deep breath and enjoy what, what you see. Mm, sounds wonderful. And being so close to Lucerne, what a, what a great contrast. You can have a, a perhaps a busy morning in Lucerne, uh, rushing around the city, seeing the sights there, and then come out and go up to Mount Stanshorn and just totally unwind for the rest of the day. Yeah, absolutely. Um, we do evening rides from Thursday to Saturday. So you can even have a, a busy full day and enjoy like take the breath in the in the evening and see the sunset. Yeah, right. So when when those um, evening services are operating, what time would the last cable car and funicular head back down to stands? At eleven. All oh, right. So it's it's quite late. Yeah, it's late, and it will be dark at eleven. Mm-hmm. So it's also very uh, unique to see the the lights, the city lights of Lucerne, and the, all the, the small villages. From the top, that's really cool. Yeah, that would be something very special. So, how long? I, I know you already mentioned that you can get from Lucerne to the to the summit in an hour. Um, how long would you recommend that people uh, spend on the mountain itself? Three hours is a is a good amount of time to to go up and have the experience and go back. If if you can make it to half a day, I think you you get more out of it since you have more time to to see uh, and experience the nature. Mm-hmm. Yeah, for sure. So can you visit uh, Stanzerhorn all year round? We are operating from April to November. Okay. So as 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 this podcast goes to air, it'll be just about the opening of um, the 2024 season for the Stanzerhorn. Yeah, that's amazing. We are preparing for the opening and uh, excited for the start. Yeah, I can imagine. So for those uh, listeners who are interested in visiting Mount Stanzerhorn, um, what do they need to be aware of in regards to ticket prices? Mount Stanzerhorn is included in the Swiss Travel Pass. And I think really if, if I would travel to Switzerland, I would totally uh, book a Swiss Travel Pass since then you have unlimited <laughs> chances to experience the area. Mm-hmm. And also in the Tel Pass, that is a uh, valid in central Switzerland, we are fully included. Okay. So I think that's personally the best option. And also, uh, of course, it's possible to book a ticket. Uh, that's recommended to book it in advance on our website since then you have the, the boarding pass included. Mm-hmm. And the ticket price is 82 or with the half fare card, it's 41 per adult. Okay. And what about for children? What What price do they pay? Uh, children, when under six years, they are f- uh, traveling for free. Mm-hmm. And when they travel with the parents until the age of 16, they uh, ride for 20 francs. Okay, great. But then, of course, those uh, parents that have the Swiss travel pass, if they've bought the or obtained the Swiss family card for the children, then do the children travel free as well? Yes, exactly. Yeah. Fantastic. So you can have a fantastic family day out and not pay anything if if you've already bought your Swiss travel pass in advance. Yeah, totally. Excellent. So do you have any tips to help our listeners prepare for their visit to Stanzerhorn? Any important information that they should know? I think really important is to check out if there is evening rides. Since then, you can uh, really make the most of every single day you have uh, while traveling. And then, yes, just really make sure you have the the spot reserved to avoid uh, waiting. And then, yeah, take take your camera and you're you're ready. <laughs> mm, wonderful. So, for people who are thinking of um, perhaps doing one of those night excursions, um, should they pre should they book a make a reservation for the restaurant if they're planning to eat up there? Yeah. So, in general, um, the restaurant is open 
also in the evenings. We have a self-service restaurant and you never need a reservation. Uh, but good that you ask because on Friday and Saturday we have a candlelight dinner in addition to the self-service restaurant. And for the candlelight dinner, you need a reservation. Okay. That's very good to know. I think I might have to uh, include that in my next visit to Switzerland. That sounds like something very, very special. Absolutely. <laughs> so where can our listeners find out more information about visiting Mount Stanzerhorn? On our website on uh, stanzerhorn.com and also, of course, on Instagram. You can follow under stanzerhorn.cabrio. Excellent. So I'll put those links in the show notes for this episode so uh, anyone interested can follow along and and get additional information. That would be great. Thank you so much. (laughs) Well, thank you for joining us, Lena, and and, uh, telling us all about the world's first double-decker open-air cable cars. Yeah, what a wonderful experience for people to to go and, and ride on that. Thank you so much for your interest and uh, see everybody soon on the mountain. Absolutely. An historic funicular, the world's only double-decker cabrio cable car, stunning views and the chance to see Swiss flora and fauna. What's not to love about Mount Stanzerhorn? Its relaxed vibe adds to the appeal and that candlelight dinner is definitely something I'm going to try and include in my next visit to Switzerland. There aren't many mountains in Switzerland that you can visit at night, so that would be an extra special experience. The free excursion to Mount Stanzerhorn is just one of many benefits of having a Swiss travel pass. It's an all-in-one ticket that includes travel on public transport right around the country. That's trains, buses, boats and trams. The Swiss travel pass also includes three free mountain excursions, Stanzerhorn, Stuss and Riggi and up to 50% of most other mountain excursions. Plus, you get free entry to around 500 museums across Switzerland. Sound good? Why not get a copy of my free Swiss travel pass guide and discover all the reasons why buying a Swiss travel pass for your vacation can be a convenient and economical way to travel? Head on over to the website, holidaystoswitzerland.com forward slash STP guide for your free downloadable guide or find the link in the show notes. Thanks for joining me today. Don't miss our next episode for more Swiss travel tips and Swisspiration. Until then, tschüss.